Oh, welcome to this video. Bit of a late start here because uh, I got an unexpected phone call. Um, quite an interesting game. I'm playing uh, Grandmaster Grievas from uh, from Greece. Two five six eight. This is a high rating. So he's um, oops. Check. Of course, this one. The Bogo. Let's see what he's doing against the Bogo. Knight BD two. Yeah, I'll play d6, this kind of a strategical line. The castle's line is my main choice in this Check. book, what I'm writing, but I tend to forget those complicated lines. So I very often in practice here, I prefer to um, to play it in a bit simpler way, like this. Okay. This, uh, this push of the H pawn is quite often an interesting uh, way to play. It um, makes sure that white is not so um, so easily um, being able to push f4 later. Let's see, should I play c5, keeping it, it closed or? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'm not sure about this. Well, taking is not good for him. I take with them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so what do I know? I think this is just uh, okay now because I control d4. Maybe uh, the combination of this central pawn structure and the h pawn moves uh, does not fit too well. That That's possible, actually. But um, still, I, I think that uh, should be okay. Okay, bishop g4 maybe, irritating him. He cannot play knight f3 because e4 hangs, bishop f3, bishop e6 should be quite helpful for me. And I don't know where the queen actually should go. Maybe um, to b3 or something, here, okay. Yeah, there's even queen a5 here, which I don't uh, think is too bad. Let's do that. His position suffers a bit from this knight on d2, which is simply not well placed. Of course, long term, he's got the bishops. That's always something. And um, um, maybe a bit of, bit of space d6 is of course slightly weak and I need to reroute this knight here on f6 this is not really well placed okay this this must return anyway knight on a5 is uh, just not well placed okay I, I thought about I, th I really expected bishop a3 but okay now I get knight c5 and to, to knight c5 e6 in, or at least knight c5 for the time being. Okay, so he wants to bring the knight <coughs> knight to d5. Hmm, yeah. Not sure. I could have also castled long, of course. Uh, I needed to start with g6. Yeah, g6 was more precise. Now he's got knight f5. Okay. Okay, so knight e6 or take it? Yeah, come on, let's take it. <clears throat> Keep it simple. Okay, he, what about f5? Should I do that? Mm, not sure about the timing, but I'd like to get this activity in. Okay, I want to get go all the way to 
to e6 of course with the king mm, okay yeah maybe i'm i'm just insecure there that's possible Yeah, no, f5 was mistimed. f4, rookie one was really strong. Check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem. <clears throat> he takes on d4, and I, I needed to take with the pawn. morning yeah this was okay at the start but then he outplayed me really f5 was really bad if I don't do f5 I think this is sufficiently uh, solid maybe it's it's um, it's slightly passive Only try. I mean, <laughs> forty three seconds will. Uh, not not one hundred percent sure about the position. Actually, is this so bad? Or do I get some sort of counterplay? Rook C two is uh, some counterplay. Check. Ah, he can just take it. I just blundered this. He can take rookie two. <laughs> Yeah. Black resigns. Yeah, I thought maybe here I, I even have something. Yeah, if the computer gives it as equal. Check. That's not really a surprise. But um, because of rook c5, which is uh, quite difficult <laughs> for a human with 40, uh, with 30 seconds, that's a strong intermediate move, of course, yeah. Check. Well, this was okay. This was just um, happening by coincidence. I was, uh, of course, um, quite outplayed. And f f five is is was is probably bad. I mean, I need to time this much much better. This 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 uh, type of play. I mean, it's clear that I'm somewhat worse, but um, it's it shouldn't be that terrible. After after f five, it got terrible. Of course, one problem is of this structure that he got in this bishop h3 stuff. Yeah, yeah it's not a very attractive position. He can play this... Um, he can always get in bishop h3, which is really the key to the position. This whole thing is based on the assumption that white has a bad piece on g2 and um, black can defend his weakness on d6. But if he gets uh, in bishop h3, um, which he will do here, then um, this is not really uh, really helping me. So white is, um, is better. That's, this probably means that queen a5 was not a good move. 
I don't think that this can be any great for white. I mean, I can I can play like that, for example. Yeah, for what it's worth, the computer gives me an advantage here. But at least it's playable. It's it's simply I, I don't have any um, any bad uh, structural piece. I mean, um, if you compare this, for example, this structure to the Kalashnikov Sicilian, which is the same structure, C pawn exchange for D pawn, E four and C four then this is a pretty good version of that because, uh, well, I don't have a dark square bishop anymore and um, white's pieces are simply somewhat cluttered. Something like that is uh, what the computer is giving with about, about equality. Yeah, the, the point is what I want to do is I always want to go get to knight to uh, 2d4, which I manage here. So queen a5 was probably nonsense. This is nonsense. It, it loses too much time also. Besides the fact, of course, that here he had bishop a3, which I pointed out during the game, which is even stronger. Somehow he didn't do that. But what he did was perfectly okay. It was this kind of slow play that is hard to counter. Um, ah, well, I need to I need to do it without f5, but this is this is really, really not comfortable. So the the key was that I shouldn't play um play this queen a5 move but go go knight d7 now yeah. this is this is pretty comfortable actually okay interesting thanks for watching